Apart from almost getting killed twice. Is it really your daughter you're trying to find here? I told you. Look, calm down. I just find your story a little odd. If it was my daughter, the police would be searching for her everywhere. Yet here you are, alone in the woods. How do you even know she's still here? Someone up there tried to burn me alive, but I managed to save this. It's hers. I'm not telling her where I found it. So, she was actually here. Well, let's read it. Maybe we can find some clues. That is, if you're okay reading her private thoughts, you might not like what you find. At this point, I don't have other options. What the hell? What's wrong? She's actually a pretty good artist. But the floating symbols. It's, it's gibberish. What symbols? All I see are pretty pictures. Are you telling me you don't see them? It's because you're exhausted. Just calm down and... Now, wait a minute. I recognize some of these places. This wooden totem's near the chapel. You can see it when you leave the chapel and walk towards the rope bridge. We'll split up. You go and look around that wooden bridge, and I'll explore some other places. Are you even listening to me? Sorry, I... I must still be half gone. Well, I was just saying that you can find the wooden totem if you return to the chapel. I'm pretty sure that's the place. Maybe you can find something about Stella there. Then can you call me if you... No. Oh, damn it, my cell! <sighs> Looking for this? Y how? It was lying on the ground nearby. I figured it might be yours since I haven't met anyone else today. Be glad the spiders didn't get it first. Anyway, the rain stopped. I better get moving if I'm going to find anything before it gets dark. Talk to you later, Daniel.
Daniel? Hi, Eleonora. What's up? I've been looking around, and there are some things that just don't make sense. Well, like what? Like exactly how long has Stella been missing? Only a couple of hours. Or maybe it's been days. It's hard to tell. Okay. And when was the last time you talked to her? She called me here in the forest, but our call got cut off. That's why I went to the camp. Hmm. That doesn't seem possible. What? You don't believe me? Calm down. I'm just checking some facts. Anyway, talk to you later. What the hell is she doing here? Must be hers. Must be hers. Careful, you don't want to slip. Uh, that castle is pretty far away. I bet you can't throw it all the way there. Let me try. Why are you here? I'm looking for someone. Is she lost? Wait. How do you know? I've seen you together. Oh, I see. Uh, not Ellie. No, she's fine. I'm looking for my daughter. What does your daughter look like? Uh, hell if I know. I've been here for so long, and with my head injury, I, I feel like I'm forgetting everything. Does she look like me? No, no, Stella's a, a lot older than you. That's a pretty name. I hope the beast didn't get her. What did you just say? There is a mean beast in this forest. Last time, he almost caught me in the castle over there. But I left my doll there. Listen, girl. This forest isn't safe for you. You should run home at once. Would you bring my doll oh, back God. for me? I told you to go. Her name is Rosie. If you do, I'll show you where the beast lives. Maybe you can find Stella there. Please? How, how could you possibly know that? I've been there lots of times. There are way too many strange things about this girl. Still, she might be my only connection to Stella. The journal did bring me here, after all. Guess I'll play along for now to find out more. You know what? Let's go together, and you can show me where you lost your doll. I'll help you get her back. No! I'm too scared to go back. Okay. I'll check the castle alone. Where did you leave your doll? The castle's closed, but I have a secret way to get inside. Go this way until you find the red and blue marks. When you reach the crossing, follow the blue color. Next to the dogs. Oh, this is too hard. Bring me my pencil and paper. I'll draw it for you. 